Today's May 11th. Today's quote is entitled, Sit Down and Listen. And this is a quote I came across just the other day. I was reading through some notes I had. And I liked it so much I wanted to share it with you. I don't even know who this person is who wrote it. But I think you'll like it. I have long admired Count Moltke, the Prussian general. A soldier who preferred to think rather than speak. A man silent in seven languages. It takes courage to stand up and speak. It also takes courage to sit down and listen. I really like that statement. A man who could listen in seven languages. Is that what it said? A man, a man silent in seven languages. Very easy to speak, very difficult to listen because we always want to put our point of view forward. We want people to hear us. We want people to hear what we're doing, what we're thinking. We want to put things out on Facebook and get likes and we just want to be heard. We want our opinion to be known around there. On the internet, putting out, a, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? I think this, I think that. Have you ever read anything about it? No, it's just how I feel. This is how I think. We just want to put things out. But one of the great lost arts is listening. And as you know, we have six loving exchanges, and one of those six is actually to listen to another devotee and not say anything, and not necessarily give them any advice if they don't ask for it, but just listen. Or another challenge we have is listening when we're having a discussion about how the preaching should go, listening to people that we don't agree with, listening to people who think differently from us. That's difficult, isn't it? Just to be quiet and listen to something that you totally disagree with. You ever tried to do that? <laughs> Keep your mouth closed, it's difficult. And not only keep your mouth closed, but actually listen and try to understand what they're saying. Now I have some experience, you may have, some of you may have this experience also, that when I was a young devotee at the age of 18, I was made temple president. And especially in those days, temple presidents had authority. Prabhupada said, whatever your temple president says, just do it, listen to him. So Prabhupada, gave a lot of power to people in authority. So all I had to do was say, Prabhu, you do this, Mataji, you do that, and they would do it because I was a temple president. Not because I was so smart or so qualified or so kind or so anything, just I was a temple president. And so after I was a temple president, I became Sankirtan leader in many different places. And after Prabhupada left, I continued as Sankirtan leader and temple president. So I was always in charge, always telling people. And then I was always giving lectures, telling people. And now I'm, I'm a spiritual master. So I'm always telling disciples, do this, don't do that. So can you imagine that for me, it's challenging to just listen? Can you imagine for my God brothers who've been in this situation their whole life of giving instruction and telling people that it can be a challenge to listen? It is. But it's important. And if you've been in a similar situation, I know it's going to be challenging, but it's important to be able to listen without judging and just hearing what a person said and letting them know that you've understood and you've heard. That's very, very important. I think a lot of the dissatisfaction we may find with leaders is when a devotee doesn't feel that the leader has heard and understood them. So it's a very important quality for anyone who's going to be in a leadership position. And the fact is that we're all in leadership positions because someone becomes a devotee and later on, excuse me, you become a devotee, someone else later on becomes a devotee, you're like a leader to them. So to be able to listen, it is very difficult in my personal experience. And it's a great art. And sometimes we have to learn how to be silent in seven languages. Hare Krishna. If you like this video, you can subscribe below. Also, I'd really appreciate it if you share this video with others, if you comment on it, if you like it, do whatever 
you have to click to share it because I think a lot of devotees would appreciate getting these videos. I try to take our philosophy and put it in a practical way so we know how to apply it in daily activity. And um, this is one of the services I do. And I want to reach as many devotees as possible. If you can help me, I'd appreciate it so much. Thank you.